welcome back everybody to another video. We are currently sitting at the base of Appleby Dome. We are 2,140 meters above sea level at the moment. We have just finished our first ever overnight hike and we cannot wait to show you all the struggles and all the first time things that we have dealt with. It's been a mission. A mission. If you like this video, please subscribe and share it with all your friends. Let's get into the video, shall we? We are just about to leave for our hike. We are leaving much later than we had anticipated. So we've had about a, five hours. About five hours. We just had a very slow morning. We made ourselves an omelette, or Brandon made us an omelette. Just chilled out a little bit, and now we're going to be getting on the trail at midday, which is not ideal. ideal. <laughs> Definitely not our favourite time to get onto a trail, but oh well, we're still looking forward to it. But we have just finished setting up our fence around the car. You heard right, a fence around our car. We don't want the um, porcupines to eat the brake lines because apparently it's pretty common here. They like chewing on rubber, so the campground where we're at, they supply fencing and just sticks and posts just to uh, prop up against your car so the little fluffers don't chew your brake lines. <laughs> we are setting off on our first overnight hike. We have borrowed all of our stuff from our friends at work, all of their backpacks and sleeping gear because we basically have none of that. We are doing the Appleby Trail today, which is a nine kilometer round trip with a about 991 meter elevation gain. I am definitely looking forward to it. It's gonna be an adventure, staying on a mountain overnight. It was just so cool. Yeah, there's still <laughs> snow on the top of this mountain. Yeah, which is just crazy that we're right by a glacier, which is so beautiful, so. Well, let's get going, shall we? is a very good reason that we start hikes early and that is to avoid this brutal heat. It is so hot. It's hotter than the sand <laughs> Like this is, this is hard. Yep. We're over halfway. We're over halfway but it is this steepness like literally the entire way. I don't even know if that camera does any justice. Oh man. Not a cloud in the sky. Just sun. I think it's being so close to the glacier over here that it'd be a lot cooler, but it's not. Literally, the glacier is right through there. And we are getting constantly chased by blowflies, march flies, other flies. Uh. Just, yeah, getting bitten. I know it'll be worth it once we get to the top, but... It's just to get into the to top. To the top. Alright. We got it. We'll keep pushing on. We'll make it up there eventually. Doesn't matter if it takes us six hours, two hours, or walk, but as long as we just keep cruising forward. We have finally made it to our camp spot. It feels like it has taken us forever to get here today. We've got a couple of things that we're gonna go and do first and then we'll have chats about how today went. So apparently we've got to hang up our bags because of the ground rats. So they're gonna live on this little clothesline for the night so that they don't eat our bags and the things in our bags. All right, our next mission is to go and try and find some running water. We have like a water filter thing to make it safe to drink. Go find that to top up our water because we've gone through four litres of water today, so. And then make some dinner and bedtime. Oh yeah. All right, water time. The way this works is basically like a bike pump with a hose on the end of it and a filter that goes into the, wherever the water goes into. So we'll probably get Chelsea to hold it over the top because it's a bit easier sink this end into the water and then just pump away and it'll come through here there's an internal filter here external filter here and then we got clean water how cool is it that we can literally just come to this tiny little 
waterfall stream and be drinking fresh glacier water. It's just amazing. I love Canada. a relationship like a good ten set of. What was your thoughts on today? Today was, as our friend Tegan would say, cuckoo insana. It was brutal. It was brutal. It was absolutely not what we were expecting. I just think it was honestly the heat that just made it so hard. Yeah. Got Never to the again. point where you were chasing the shade and yeah. there wasn't really that much of it to chase. So. Yeah. Like we stopped so many times. Yeah. It took us nearly, well, it took us six hours to get out. Yeah, which is just... Brutal. It's just insane. Like, that is literally the round trip time that it took us to do Padgett Peak. So, we didn't even make it to Appleby Dome today. We're just at the campsite today, but we'll tackle that tomorrow. Never again leaving at midday for a hike. Like, no. it was just... We were too plaza about it, and it was 33 degrees today. We didn't really equate that into the factor and i honestly think it was hotter like the higher up the mountain we got yeah it was so hot and just every, hardly any shade every other mountain we've been up the higher you get the colder it gets yeah the higher we got the hotter it got because there was hardly any trees and the sun was just at that right angle where yeah it basically followed us up the hill it was food bud it was food bud yeah we're exhausted we're exhausted clearly. We could have quit a few times, but we didn't. And we were definitely ready to quit. Yeah. Like, And obviously on top of like it being really hot and stuff, we were carrying all this camping gear, which we were just not used to hiking with. Thank goodness for Brandon, he had like all the heaviest stuff. <laughs> I actually probably would have died. Yeah, it was pretty brutal with the backpacks on, yeah. um, but we made it. Just want to throw it out there how super proud I am of Chelsea today. Um, it was a mission getting up, I'm not going to lie, it was pretty brutal in spots um, and we did it in the full heat of the day and no matter how many times we both wanted to quit, she kept pushing forward, we, even if it was take 10 steps and have a break for 10 minutes, she still kept motoring and kept going, so I am very proud of her. Alright, so this is our little meal for the night, it's a dehydrated meal and then we just have to boil water and add the water to it. Um, this one is a three bean chili mac. Uh, it's a two serve, so it's enough for me and Brandon for tonight. Macaroni noodles, beans, and vegetables in a sweet chili sauce. This is our little cooker for the night. Wow. A little stove top. Look how cute that is. It's not quite the normal camp cooking we do. <laughs> Definitely not. You couldn't exactly <laughs> bring up a lot of stuff. And check out the views that we have the dinner tonight like that is a glacier right in front of us how incredible that's what it looks like all right and then we close that one up leave it for 10 and then we should be good to go have a delicious meal that turned out so good look at that give it a good stir oh it smells really nice Okay, for a meal that's coming out of a packet, that is dang good. Wow, I was not expecting that. The thing I really liked about this brand when we were choosing it as well is there's no additives in it, which is just mind-blowing. For the night <laughs> we have got this little mattress we've got a sleeping bag each and then all of our like jumpers and our towel make up our cushion for the night 
<laughs> but look at where we get to sleep guys like this is just amazing this is us very comfy you know Bye. we'll see you guys in the morning <laughs> Good morning everybody, it is about 6.30, which is a much more reasonable time for getting on the trail this morning. We have just packed up our camp spot, just finishing packing up our bags and then we're about to hit the trail. We've probably got about one and a half k's of walking this morning up to the Appleby Dome and then we will slowly start to make our way back down the mountain. But have a look at this beautiful sunrise that we've got this morning. we could keep going but it's just like drained. We're very very close we're just sort of just below the base of Appleby Dome. The sun is slowly coming up we want to try and beat that to the top at least coming down it won't be so brutal but it's so beautiful here this little spot that we've stopped at. There's a beautiful waterfall here and then this is Appleby where we are heading to. We're just gonna head up up to the top to the base and then it'll be time to make our way back down. there is still so much snow like we don't know what is under here like if it is glacier underneath this snow or if it's just rock or if the snow is this thing or thick or so this is as far as we're gonna go Appleby is right behind us so we're not quite at the campsite we're not sure where the campsite is like when we left from our campsite we didn't go back onto the main path but it'll be around here but I'm pretty proud of us I'm proud of us been it's been a slog <laughs> it's been hard but we've pushed through as much as we both wanted to quit at times. So yeah. We have pushed through and we've made it, so I'm proud of us both. Definitely. So we're going to set up and have some breakfast now. And a cup of tea. And a cup of tea, and then we're going to make our descent. On the menu this morning is another peak refill. This time we've got the mountain berry granola. This one we just need to add cold water to. box system it's just a first come first serve kind of system you don't have to pre-book through the Parks Canada website which is good um, so there's a couple of options for camping you've got the one that we stayed at which was the Boulder campground which was a little bit further down or you've got the Appleby campground which is further up um, we just weren't gonna make it to Appleby yesterday so we stayed at the lower one or you've also got a hut here so it's the cane hut and that's $35 a night so that's actually like inside a building and there's like proper bed I believe that they've got some gas facilities 
facilities for cooking, which is really nice. Um, but obviously we had all the camping gear, so we went with our camping option this time. We are finally about to start making our descent down through the Bugaboos National Park. I think we're just gonna insert a montage here. Midway check-in, we are nearly at the trees, in the Thank cool. The Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. It is so hot out here, but we're not going up this time, we're going down. Being in the tree line is so much more bearable guys, way cooler, with the water streaming through here as well, and got the end game inside, tacos. Cannot wait. Poor things had enough. <laughs> She's doing so well though. I'm proud of her. We have done it. Thank fluff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.